everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to talk about my Lindy 30 and uh, thank you Bobby loves LV for asking me to do a review and thank you for subscribing to my channel so I'm so happy to receive your comments and I had a short conversation with you on uh, YouTube so thank you very much and here it is so this is my Lindy 30 and the color is Rouge Garons um, it is a red color. It's a permanent color. So you can actually see this color in different bags and uh, It's in the letter Clemence and then palladium hardware uh, That is like the silver hardware. So this bag first appeared in the spring summer 2007 collection um, At that point MS wanted to design a more playful bag and they wanted to be more innovative with their designs and I think this is a very innovative design because um, the other bags that um, MS um, made, they were very structured and they were famous for producing structured bags. And this is very different because the design, uh, it's designed to be slouchy. So I thought it was a really fun bag, very playful and a very casual one and I really like it. So I'm going to show you the year stamp. So I'm going to bring my bag over. Uh, it's a K in a square. It's a K and it's a square. Uh, on the other side, it says MS Paris. Yeah, a K in a square is a 2007. So I think this is like the first batch of Lindy that they made because it came out in 2007. Um, so another thing is it doesn't come with uh, a lock. Although uh, there's a turn closure, uh, there's no lock and key. And uh, so you can see that there's no hole in the middle of this turn closure for the lock uh, to go through. So there's it doesn't come with the lock, it just comes uh, like this, the bag and then uh, the box and the dust bag. Um, so then I'm now going to measure the bag. It is a Lindy 30, so it is 30 cm across, approximately because it has round corners. So um, approximately 30 cm. Yeah, oh, it's here, right? So 30. And then uh, the depth is 15 cm. 15. And then for the height, it says 20. So I'm going to measure it now. And it is 20. With the handle, I just measured, it is 32. So it makes the handle drop 12. So um, I would hold my bag like this, or I would use the shoulder strap. And here it is, the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is not detachable, unlike the one on the toolbox. And uh, by the way, I made a video, my first video was about the two box 26. So go check it out if you haven't already. And so it's all sewn in and you can see all the stitching and things like that. And so it's not detachable. And so when I, when I hold it like this on the, with the handle, I can do, I can keep it like this, or I can just put it here in the middle, or I can just fling it to the back. So it doesn't really matter, it's a very casual bag, so it doesn't matter where you place the handles, uh, not the handles, the the strap. So as for the uh, tweenies, um, because it is uh, not a detachable strap, I have to keep the strap here when I was tying my Lindy, so I was tying my handles um, with tweenies. So I would move the strap to one side, and I'll start from the middle, and then I'll wrap one side and I'll tie a knot here and then put a uh, loop this put this over to the other side and then finish off the other side so that's how I do the handles with my tweenies for this bag now um, when I uh, use this bag I do not keep the closure like this the reason is that I think it's very fussy very troublesome because let me show you how I open this. Now, remember, when I'm using it with my straw storage strap, I normally would you know, open this bag with one hand. So what I needed to do would be, I need to turn this to this angle where it fits and then it comes out. And then for the other one, I have to turn it again 
and then for it to come out. And then for the middle part, I have to turn it yet again for it to come out. So I have to basically turn the closure three times before I can open the back and take things out. So it's too fuzzy. So what I do is, I do it like this. I still turn it, but I let these two things just hang like this. I give it more, it gives it a more casual look. So um, I like it that way. And I think it, it keeps the shape. It looks fine. So uh, I take things out uh, like this. I just stick my hands into this hole and I just take things out and then I close it and then I turn it and then I continue to use it. So this is how I use this bag. And let me show you the inside of the bag. So it says here, uh, MS Paris made in France, and you can see the stitching, red stitching, very nice. And here's the turn closure, close up, and it says MS Paris in palladium hardware, so it's a bit dirty. And um, two zipper, uh, one on each side. I don't unzip this back when I take things out because, I, again, I can't do it with one hand and I think it's unnecessary because this hole is actually big enough for me to stick uh, my hands in and I don't have a lot to put in uh, to my back so it's easy normally for me to find stuff. So uh, let me tell you uh, the problem. So first, I, I just told you the problem with the turn closure. I have to turn it three times. If I close it properly, I have to turn it three times to open it. Uh, but that problem is solved. And many people who use this bag, including me, would find this second problem. As you can see, this part is a bit wrinkled up. Now, because this design is a slouchy design, I mean, it's inevitable for this part to stretch and ultimately wrinkle. And so this is the part where people find it like very disgusting and they don't expect to see something like this on uh, an MS bag. Uh, but on the Lindy, it's very, very common. It doesn't show uh, wrinkles on this side, luckily, but some people do have this problem, but I don't. So I consider that fortunate. And I don't know, maybe if I use it more times, I would, but then I've at least used it like 30, 40 times and uh, this has not happened. So... You know, I think I'm fine. Uh, so it's only on the inside and I don't show the inside, so it's all right. And so here, as you can see, this is the inside of the bag and it is very roomy, but um, it you can't, of course, you can't feel the bag all the way to the top because you know that it slouches, right? So, but still, it is very roomy, yeah? And there are two side pockets, one on each side. And I don't use these pockets. I don't put things on this po these two pockets um, for two reasons. First reason is that it leaves a mark on the leather because if it's a very tight pocket, there's no room on the bottom for it to stretch. And so I want it to be closely intact with the, the, the side. So I don't want to stretch this leather. And I know this is a durable leather, but it's stretchy, uh, judging by the fact that it wrinkles. So I don't want this to, you know, not look tight. And that's why I don't put stuff in. And there was this one time that I received a name card from someone, a business card from someone, and I left it there and I forgot about it. And the way I found out that I left a name card there was when I saw a mark on the leather and I was screaming and I took it out immediately, of course, but I couldn't do anything to it. But then surprisingly, I don't know, maybe not surprisingly, but... Um, uh, as expected, I don't know, uh, for MS leather, uh, it was gone. I didn't do anything to it and it was gone in a few days and I guess it, you know, returned to the original condition. So that was good. And the second reason I won't put anything uh, in to these pockets is that it's for security reasons. So, for example, some people would think, oh, I can just put my phone here so that I don't have to look for my phone. It's very easy. I think, you know, some people think that it's meant to be for phones. Um, I don't do it. The reason is that if you, for example, hold this bag or use the shoulder strap uh, and then put it on the your left hand shoulder like this, then the bag will uh, sit on your shoulder. And so this will be the back pocket and, th and this will be the front pocket. So let's assume that you put it in the front pocket, the, your phone. Uh, you can't just put it all the way to, you know, like all the way in hiding the whole phone because this is not tall enough. So some part of it will stick out. So it might not look very good. Uh, if it sticks out and if you have a phone case which is big with uh, gemstone and stuff like that it will definitely leave a mark so it's not a good idea I don't think and it will stretch this part which I don't like um, so that's that's for that but then if you leave it on the back pocket there's security reasons uh, problems because uh, 
your phone might get stolen. You can't always keep on you know touching and feeling your phone and see if it's still there and it's very stressful so for me you know I would just keep it inside I'll just put it on my um, you know jean pocket or anything something like that uh, rather than this so it's not although you know there are two side pockets I think it's more for the show uh, than for practical reasons so that's um, that's why I wouldn't use the side pockets but of course it's up to you you can you can choose to choose to put it there and I've seen people doing it I think you might be able to hide your whole phone um, with your Lindy 34, but probably not Lindy 30 and definitely not Lindy 26. So uh, let me give you some ideas. Speaking of the different sizes, this is the middle kit, this is the Lindy 30 and uh, this bag comes in three sizes, the Lindy 30 26, uh, which uh, in 2015 uh, retails at around 6,700 USD. The Lindy 30 is around 6,900 USD and the Lindy 34 is around 7,250 USD. I think it's before tax. And so, um, you know, the price is in general cheaper than the two box. And uh, I don't know why, but I guess probably because of the lock and the different hardware that they include. There's really uh, no lock, no, no, nothing else that they include uh, except just the bag and the, and the dust bag for the Lindy. And so, yeah, um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the, the size, the shape. Is it a bulky bag? It is a bulky bag, but it's not bulky uh, to an extent where I won't use it, I don't think it's practical. I think it is a practical bag and I, I like this bag. If I were to purchase this bag again, I would use this, I would purchase it in this colour. Although because I bought it pre-loved or even if you buy it from MS, you don't really get to choose the colour. Uh, when I purchased this bag, I could choose to buy it in an uh, electric blue or a red, but I ended up choosing the red and I think it's the right choice. Uh, in terms of the size, I think I would probably opt for a Lindy 26 because I, as I've mentioned, I don't put a lot of things in my bag and I think a 26 is good enough for me. Also, uh, Lindy 26 is a lot cuter. It's very, very cute. So, um, but the thing is, in the second-hand market, the smaller the bag, the more expensive it is. It's a weird thing. But in MS, it's the other way around, which I think makes more sense because you use less leather, uh, I guess. But um, so therefore, I think even, you know, if I have a chance to see a Lindy 26, which is very rare in the market, uh, if I see a Lindy 26 uh, for sale in uh, you know the pre-loved market, I probably won't be able to afford it. And I do not think that I need two Lindys. Um, I'll probably sell one and buy the other one, but probably, you know, it's not in um, my plan at this point. So I don't think I'll be doing that, making that purchase uh, anytime soon, uh, but you never know. So when I purchased this bag, it's around 40%, 40% uh, off the today's retail price. So it's a pretty good purchase. The condition was very good when I purchased it, but it was quite obvious that it was a secondhand purchase. So the condition was not as good as my toolbox, but it was good enough. So I really like this bag. And so that's it. And um, thank you for watching um, my second video. And I um, and do check out my OOTDs uh, on Pinterest and go uh, check out my Pinterest under the same name. Uh, I will list all my handbags in the description box down below. And if you want to see me uh, do a review on any of my bags on the list, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I've made a video on my Toolbox 26 two weeks ago and that was my first uh, video so please go check it out and uh, again um, please leave me any suggestions if you have any suggestions for me uh, in terms of lighting in terms of sound in terms of the things that I show uh, do let me know um, on the comment down below and I want to keep on uh, improving and the next video that I'm going to do is my uh, vintage mini belete which is super duper duper small and so I'm gonna see you again uh, very soon bye